Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to find how to find the scalar equation of a plane in three dimensional space. Remember what we need for that. We need an orthogonal vector or a perpendicular vector to the plane, and we need at least one point on the plane. The point is right here, 2, 4, negative 1. And this is the equation we're going to use. Notice that A, B, C are the components of the x, y, and z component of the orthogonal vector. X sub naught, Y sub naught, and Z sub naught are the coordinates of the known point on the plane. And of course, X, Y, and Z are the unknown or arbitrary point on the plane. Simply plug it into the equation that we have. I might as well write the equation down right here. A times X minus X sub naught plus B times Y minus Y sub naught plus C times Z minus Z sub naught is equal to zero. Notice that A, B, C, this is our A, this is our B, this is our C, this is our X sub naught, Y sub naught, and Z sub naught, right there. Let's plug them in. We get 2 times X minus X sub naught, which is 2, plus B, which is 3, times Y minus Y sub naught, which is 4, plus 4 times Z minus Z sub naught, we subtract the negative 1 adds up to zero. Simplifying this, we get 2x minus 4 plus 3y minus 12 plus 4z, and the negative times the negative is plus, that becomes plus 4 equals zero. Combining all the constants, we have minus 4 plus 4, that cancels out, we have minus 12, 2x plus 3y plus 4z, minus 12 equals 0, or if you move the 12 to the, to the other side, we can write this as 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 12. And that would be a good way in writing the final equation. That's simply the equation for the plane that we have here for the example. Now notice that simply written, we have 2x plus 3y plus 4y. Notice that these 2, 3, and 4 are the coefficients or coordinates of our normal vector, and then 12 is the combined information that we get from the point that is known. That's how we find the scalar equation of a plane in three-dimensional space.